In eastern South Dakota, you may be used to seeing wild animals like deer and coyotes, but lately, people in one Yankton neighborhood have seen this mountain lion roaming around their homes. Mountain lions have started making their way east across the Missouri River and are becoming a more common sight in the Yankton area. Kelloland's Lauren Solick caught up with one of the neighbors who owns a yard where a mountain lion has shown up more than once. One day that somebody, the neighbor on my west, had called me and said, Jane, you had a mountain lion in your backyard. Jane Pugh's neighbor says the big cat passed through her yard here and down to the riverside. A week later, her neighbor to the east caught this picture of the mountain lion on his trail camera just below her house on the river. A lot of sightings and especially like paw prints and stuff people see out by the lake. And that's been going on for quite a few years. Josh Delger, the regional wildlife supervisor for Game Fish and Parks, says seeing mountain lions on this side of the river is becoming more common. Yankton, especially, we get a little more uh, thicker, thicker uh, cover and things like that, and a lot of deer. And I mean, it is it is a good suitable habitat for for a mountain lion. Most come from the Black Hills in Wyoming, and while some may decide to make a home in the eastern part of the state, it's rare for the wild animals to attack humans. It's very, very uncommon for that to happen. It's usually a, where, where populations or are, 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 cats are overpopulated. Pew says after the sighting, she's taking more steps to keep her dog safe. Not really heard anything of them threatening people or animals, but we just know. As we all know, we all have to be careful of whatever the wild animals are. In Yankton, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. So how common are mountain lions where you live? You can find out at our Kelloland.com original report where you'll also find some more trail cam pictures.